everybody. Brenda Aim here. Hi, Miss Tammy. How you doing? Hey, today I want to tell you about a friend of mine. Uh, as a boxing coach for many years, I got to meet a lot of people that touched my lives along the way. One of the guys that I'm fixing to talk about, his name is Marcus the Miracle Penny. Marcus was a deaf student that come to me, and a lot of people wouldn't allow him to box in USA Boxing because of him being deaf. So Mr. Dream had to do something different. He had to become a professional referee because I wanted Marcus to feel how it felt to be just like everybody else. So we started out teaching Marcus how to box. Marcus uh, had a wife who was deaf and two children that was deaf as well. Um, full of energy, full of love, full of grace. As I taught him how to box, I realized he was a natural at it. His not hearing added other senses that most people that had hearing couldn't receive. Uh, Marcus, I decided to become professional. This way I could control Marcus as a professional referee to start and stop him. I never worked with anybody deaf before. This was my first time. And along the way, I learned a few things. Number one, you don't clap when someone has a match. You wave. Because when you're clapping, they're not hearing it. Well, they think it's disrespectful. So, we learned along the way, you wave. And that's a sign of clapping to them. Marcus did real well during his match. He lost by decision, but he was, uh, he was able to fulfill his dream in front of his family and his, his friends. We was blessed to be able to see Marcus get where Marcus needed to be in life. But all along the way, we learned that the clapping discouraged Marcus because Marcus didn't know that we was really proud of him and, and was so happy that he did so excellent in it. Somewhere along the way, Marcus decided he didn't want to box no more for me. I think he thought it was disrespectful for me not knowing. But sometimes you don't know what other people's feeling. So when you're out there in, in the world, try to get to know people's ways. Try to figure out everything about a person. Even though you might not understand, maybe they can help you understand. Marcus, wherever you at, my friend, I know you're from Conway, Arkansas, and you probably never will see this or be able to hear it. But maybe somebody one day, Marcus Benny, can reach out and tell you that this man and this woman truly, truly loved y'all and respected you to the ultimate. Remember, just because we have a disability don't mean we have to live, live with that disability and let it control our life. You have to learn through life's adversities. God gives you other talents that you can use. Some are good, some are bad. But when you're doing it, you try to find out the best for all. So when you are there, that you can change somebody's way of thinking in somebody else's life. Marcus is one of the remarkable people that I run across in my years of 35 years of boxing or, or better. But there's a lot more, and there's a lot more I'm gonna be talking of. And some I might even interview if I have the pleasure of doing it. So stay tuned, like and subscribe and share to your friends and tell them there's more wonderful, wonderful content and stories coming up about people in the past, the present and the future. God bless each and every one. Know that we love you. Love each and every one of you guys. And if you can, share, like and subscribe.
Have a wonderful day, and may God fulfill your life to the ultimate. Love every day like it's your last, because your, tomorrow is not promised. God bless.